Hi, Wes Lee with the weekly Mesonet weather report. Occasionally, with a system as large and robust as the Oklahoma Mesonet, there will be issues with data collection. If you ever see a map with red dots at stations instead of weather data, that means there is a temporary issue with the data. This wind speed map from Tuesday shows red dots at six Mesonet sites. No need to report issues such as this to us as there are operators who know immediately when an issue occurs. There are many reasons for a station to miss reporting weather data. One of the most common would be that a technician is working at the site. The Mesonet system has four technicians that travel the state every day working on maintenance, sensor repair, or vegetation management. The second most common reason for a loss of data would be a poor communication issue. Our Mesonet sites are at remote locations and communicate via either VHF radio or cell phone modems. There are many weather factors that can affect these including temperature inversions, strong fronts, extremely dry weather, and ice. The interruption may be at the local Mesonet site or it may be at a repeater tower we use to relay the signals. Some less common data issues include rodents, lightning, tornadoes, and livestock. Rodents can play havoc with our electronic equipment. Our soil sensors have been especially vulnerable to attack by gophers over the years. All of our sites have lightning rods installed, but they are not 100% effective. This anemometer shows the effect of a direct hit in August of this year. Soil sensors are also a likely victim as they act as a grounding source for the lightning. We have had four Mesonet sites directly or indirectly damaged by tornadoes in the past 10 years. One as recent as a few months ago at Enola. A couple of hits completely destroyed the Mesonet Tower. Here you can see the Fort Cop site in 2011 when a tornado dropped a center pivot irrigation tower directly on the site. Issues with livestock are rare but occasionally happen. These have included goats, cattle, and even bison at the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. All of the Mesonet sites are currently fenced with cattle panels to help stop livestock problems. The good news with the loss of data is that it is usually temporary. Data loggers on site almost always transmit the missed data as soon as communication is restored. There are 120 public Mesonet sites, each with approximately 15 sensors that record weather conditions. They transmit every 5 minutes, 24 hours a day. In this week of Thanksgiving, I for one am thankful that the Mesonet system is up and running over 99% of the time. That will do it for this week. See you next week for another Mesonet weather report.